Going to my first world was a completely new experience. It was a different city, a different life. Uh, Shanghai was very different from Berlin or Stockholm that I lived in before. Just playing against all these amazing players from China and, and Korea, uh, learning so much every, every day. Playing against all these new players, you felt this insane drive to become even better. It's not going to be an easy group for Rogue, I think we can all agree. But when it comes to their domestic performance, they just had a breakthrough season in the LEC. And now they make their international debut against PSG. You know, a lot of eyes were on Finn as a weak leak. Can he be exploited? Can it be a problem? I played my fight against PSG and it was like a very clean game from us. I think they didn't kill a single one of us. Almost a perfect game. We do have Malphite ultimate on the side of Rogue, so there it is! Flash in for three! How about the re-engage? Already a one for zero struck, if not to be found. A double kill for Finn, and he heard you talking smack! It made me feel like we could go further, you know? But then we we couldn't really find it within ourselves to, to beat the rest. Now for Rogue, they have to contest with two of the best teams in the world, JD Gaming and Damwon also wait in that group. I was given chances against the top players to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in, in matchups where uh, I wasn't very comfortable in, so to say. Playing it against Zoom, he showed me how to win both sides, uh, which was a bit of an eye-opener for me. In the end, we were just not as complete or as uh, strong as Damwon and JDG were at the tournament and that's why we got exposed by them and we just got rolled over. Of course Rogue must be feeling frustrated 0-3 on the day, only getting one win. Mm, it was very disappointing. Like it's, it's like we weren't even there, you know. When I played against all these players, from Zoom to, to Nuguri to Bin, I could feel like they were good. But it was not like they were immortal or they were like way, way ahead of me. I always felt like I was within reach of, of playing like them. So it was very, very hopeful for the future for me. Uh, in the end, I realized that Rogue would want to change me and I would have to look somewhere else. Talking around with different teams and looking at different rosters, I felt like this CLG roster has the roster with the most potential for me. I actually like the roster a lot. Uh, and Brox are being a big part of that. Obviously, we both had um, the visa situation where we were a bit delayed and we couldn't really make it here on the time that we had hoped. This matchup will feature a new look for CLG. Finn is finally here in the top lane, but the jungler Brox is still away, does not have the visa. I know we are missing people and it's very easy to make excuses for your play because of that, like oh we're playing like this because we don't have these people, or yada 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 yada. But I don't think I don't like that excuse at all. I think we have to make the most of what we have right now. Uh, and us going zero free our first weekend is not something that I, I can excuse. As well as the way we're losing them. Finn killed off that pro move. CLG standing strong, but Kais is still keeping on. Finn's the target, RJ is the target, Theo's still standing and fighting, and the boy is winning. Oh, what a clincher. Oh my god, that was so close. The Aatrox life kill is so huge there. Watch one. If the second Q from Aatrox would have hit this one, CLG wins the defense. Every game, I think we should have won, and as you've shown, we uh, we can get advantages in game, all three games, but we need to be be better at closing it out. Hundred thieves have battled back, <laughs> and they will take CLG down in a heartbreaking loss. They steal it once again. Oh, CLG! Look at the face of Griffin there. It says it all. How did they lose that game? If you are in control of the game and you still lose it, then what are you actually doing, you know? CLG looked good for a while, but it's TSM taking the win here today. And again, CLG you know, turns in this performance where they're having a lot of, of good moments, but they don't know how to actually close out these games. I've never really been in a position where I would go like, zero free my first weekend, but I have been in positions where I've experienced a lot of disappointment, obviously. Like the Worlds, you know, like where we would come in and just win one game and then go home. 
in the past I would get a bit more depressed over going zero free. I would feel like very sad or frustrated, but I think now I'm just a bit more, how to say, motivated to, to move forward. I just think sulking in, the, sulking in the negative won't really solve anything. I think you just need to be very uh, concrete and you need to figure out what is actually the problem. I, I can see our team being very good, I can see the good parts that we have. There's always a solution to every problem and you just need to, to look past your own emotions to find it.